It's Kiana Thompson of Holistic Harmony, Mind, Body, and Soul, a solution-focused therapy agency with 100% satisfaction in building quality, passionate relationships. And it's time for your mom, please. Let's see who's up. Let's see who's up. Pisces. Oh, yay. And actually, the day that I'm recording this, it's a full moon in Pisces tonight. And it's bringing good luck and positive vibes. So I'm here for it, Pisces. Let's see what you got cracking. Pisces is a water sign. You guys are mutable. You are ruled by Neptune and Jupiter. If your birthday is between 219 and 320, these messages could resonate. Or if you have permanent, prominent placements, <laughs> moon, ascendant, Venus, Jupiter, you may uh resonate with these as well. Pisces are very compassionate. They can be sad. Um, they love spiritual themes and they don't like being criticized. Pisces don't like that. So let's set up your ritual space so we can get inside of your reading. This is the Divine Love Kit. This is available for purchase. Everybody got to have a ritual space just right. And this kit will help you get it all the way right with our moon water, Scorpio moon water infused with lavender and orange. I love oil. Infused with ylang ylang and sandalwood. Our magic feather. Pisces are so psychic. Definitely got to have our peacock, peacock ore. For happiness and psychic abilities. Rose wrap sage. And we're going to leave it right there. That's good. Gonna get the smoke going. It's so nice to breathe in this good ass prana, baby. There we go. We is cooking with all types of fire. I'm going to be using my energy, energy oracle, animal tarot, and my Kiana said deck. I'm Kiana, and I said that this deck is available for purchase, boo. Okay. And then at the end, I'll get you an oracle card to um, like a last word of advice okay pisces right out the door i'm seeing some envy but i'm also seeing some um some coins too are you envious of oh you're winning what are you doing you're it's a b <laughs> um i'm trying to see already you guys are coming in the door with some good stuff but i saw that envy and it felt like it wasn't towards you but it was going outward so you don't have to worry about another Pisces you don't have to be envious of nothing stay inside of your appreciation because you do have more money coming um you're winning a victory you are being healed you are a healer you're a Pisces you're freaking intuitive and um all of that just keep your heart chakra open keep that flow going envy blocks your flow to your heart chakra stay inside the community stay with your friends that make you feel good and make you feel better Yes, some of you could be getting married. Somebody else was getting married. I forgot who. Um, or just taking relation to the next level. More dates. Just having a happy family. You, your kids, your um, spouse, your mates, whoever is close to you is just going to be real happy. You just have to breathe and stay um, out of your comfort zone. You don't want to, I feel like you don't want to be the healer, but that's who you are, babe. So come up outside your comfort, comfort zone. Universe is saying, come on, up, come on up out that gate. That's what it's saying. Because you're not going to be with your soulmate inside this gate. You got to get out the gate. You got to move away from the chaos and drama, which is what you're doing. You're all, it's all about community for you. I'm seeing a lot of community, um, family, giving, taking, receiving. You could be doing a type of um, 
Somebody could be giving you gifts. Like real, real peaceful. Like, you know, wanting to like just gift you. Like actual, you know, gifts. Bring you gifts. But you're definitely walking into some um, lovers energy. You can have more than one love of Pisces. Hey. But you're definitely winning. It's definitely your season. Lots of victories, lots of rewards, lots of good luck. This moon for you is going to be everything. You could be dealing with a fire sign or have fire in your chart. You're dealing with a Taurus or have Taurus in your chart. Again, I'm just seeing um, lots of passion, uh, lots of connections, marriage. Also, we're dealing with a water sign. Oh, this is because of you just showing up, Pisces. You're water too. Yeah, but you're gonna be going on dates, that's for sure. Lots of romantic gestures coming your way. Lots of romance. Um also a lots of deep thinking. Yep. And lots of community effort. You could be working um inside of the community on a project or something like that. You just be getting a lot of gifts from the community. You could be you could be what is it? What do you do? Like um what am I trying to serve? You could be serving Pisces. You could be doing like um, volunteer type of situations where you're uh, giving your time and effort to a cause. Okay, let's get into your cards, Pisces. Okay. <laughs> Let's get your cards popping. Mm. What do you want the Pisces to know? Is that for them? to know for the month of September that they will always remember You got a lot going on. <laughs> but it's all good. Okay. I didn't see that coming. I know you lying. Envy card again. Yeah. Something's going on with you, Pisces. We going to get into it. Oh, it's all the way. Pisces, what in the heck are you sad about? Okay, that wants to fall out, so. Yeah, see, you're on an upswing. So I don't really understand what's happening, but we're going to find out how this story goes. Let me get you a Kiana card. My dear sweet Pisces.
Pisces, right out the gate, you need to, you have a lot of possibilities coming towards you, which are really nice. But you, if you're waiting, okay, it's going to be a couple ways it's going to go. If you are uh, waiting, if you're applying for jobs, you're going to be getting like a lot of interviews. Um, or if you need to apply for jobs, I feel like you need to be like dusting off your resume. If it's business, you need to be updating your business plan, making sure that you're ready to rock and roll because you're building a steady foundation and you're being you're going to be have a lot of opportunities and possibilities coming your way that you just need to be ready for right so stay ready so you don't have to get ready and if you're not ready faith it till you make it okay because a lot of things are going to be coming in that you haven't um thought about or just more offers coming in but like people could like if you already put your resume out there or if you put contracts out, um, they're still being looked over. So it could be slow coming. So you're like, man, is they going to call me for the interview? Or is they going to call me about my contract? They are. It's just it's just moving slow. But it's coming. It's coming in. All right, for the uh, Knight of Pentacles, please. Yeah. Because... It's, it's, it's coming slowly, but surely it's like um, you already did the groundwork. You already put it out there, and now it's going to come back to you. Um, somebody's going to be calling you with the power to make something move. Like the the So I feel like the person who was a gatekeeper, like maybe it was like human resources or whoever looks over the contracts or whatever, they were like going over all of them, then they're going to pass it to... Um, the next person. So I feel like he wants to hire up now. So that's why now you're going to be called. Ugh. Yeah, there were more. They, whatever they said, there was a lot of people applying for it. And I feel like they might have picked about three people. And you're one of them. Yes! And you're going to be offered... Um, you're going to be offered the gift. You're going to be offered the job. You can have like a lot of job offers coming in. Um, you could have went on three interviews. So say like, you know how they'll be like, okay, you go on the first interview. Then you go on the same person. You already went, you you go first, you just go through human, human resources. Then when you go back, it's a supervisor. Then when you go back, it's the big, big boss. <laughs> um, and so it could be something like that. And you were thinking like, oh my God, I didn't get it. Um, you got it. You got it. You got the job or you got the contract, whatever this is that you um that you're you know waiting for that you had thought that you didn't get it because maybe you didn't hear word back because it's moving so slow, but you did. And if this hasn't happened yet, it will happen. Like I said, dust your resume off, dust some contracts, make sure you're ready to rock and roll because a lot of possibilities are coming your way. You're gonna get a lot of um job offers and you're gonna get um the financial abundance or you're gonna get. Like it's a good, look like it's a good paying job. So make sure you're ready. Have your strategy ready. Dust off that resume, get it together. It's going to be good. So universe is asking you to have patience with yourself. I feel like this is because you're doing a lot. Like even with this, like you putting in, like all, you know, you putting your resumes out there and, or, or business deals. If you're in school and you're writing papers, you're waiting for, you know, your grades. So whatever you're doing and you're expecting something, you know, back, um, you're juggling a lot. The universe is asking you to be patient. You put a lot out there. And so now you have to be patient. Um, you know, you can't throw the baby out with the bath water. Now you did the work and you got to be patient and wait for it to come back. Four pentacles. Cause it's all being balanced out. Everything is about divine timing. But I feel like this still is about money. Yeah. Because you have a lot of sadness. Like maybe your, your money isn't looking how you want it to look. And uh, loss. It's like loss. Like maybe you lost a job. Or a position. You worried about losing your home. Another vibrational match. That's really, um, but it's okay. You got, you just have to be patient. Like 
You are you are d doing a lot. You're putting a lot out there. You're getting balanced. You've walked away from things that no longer serve you. If you haven't, this is the opportunity because the universe actually be patient. This is the opportunity for you to really do some deep soul searching, do some work, get into your meditation, get into your um yoga, right? Whatever it is that you do to heal yourself. Because you are you being asked to do this work because you're in like a funk or you've been in a funk. And so you have to be patient with yourself. You have to be patient with what you put out there. Even with your soul work, you have to be patient with that. Like maybe you want it to, you know, be healed and not sad no more today. <laughs> but maybe, you know, you still got some meditation to do, some thoughts to relinquish, some things to let go of. Maybe, you know, you need to walk away from things that don't serve you. You, put up, you could have walked away from something that don't serve you and it's causing you some grief. It's like you lost some things. But you got this fire energy coming in. So things are going to pick up. So as before, you have the pentacle energy where it's slow moving and slow dragging. Now you got this fire energy that's coming up in here. This charismatic, this fast forward, you know, um, quick speaking, rushing in, getting things done. And it could be people that's helping you um, something with your home. Like if it's something, you know, broke in your house or something like that, they could be rushing in to fix it. That could be why you're, you know, sad too. Things are just seeming like they're just falling apart. Um, and you're feeling like left out. You're like, man, what's going on? I'm waiting for these interviews to come in. This house is like, whatever. <sighs> I'm trying to do my soul work, but I'm just being distracted because I got a lot of stuff going on. And it's okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? All this stuff is... um. It's divine. You got to be patient. Yeah. Because it's all going to work out. Like, it's going to be really, really great. Like, you're breaking curses and generational curses. You're building wealth for your family. Your family is you know, going to be abundant and happy. The, the, the jobs and, and contracts and things that are coming in is for your financial, you know, gain and windfall. So, it's going to be good. You just have to be patient. Because, like I said, it's slow moving. I literally see, like... Whoever has the resumes, they they went over them. Or if you did like three interviews, right? They're going to call you and say, hey, we chose you. You're the one we want. And if, um, you know, that pro or, or they're going to say it's three people that we're looking at and you're one of them. We need you to come back in. Something like that, uh, Pisces. I was going to call you guys Scorpio. <laughs> So you could be your the person who was who was making the decision could be a Scorpio, but it's paying out. It's gonna pay off. Everything that you're putting in, you just gotta be patient. It's gonna end in abundance and happiness, so you don't have to worry. Um, your your ancestors are letting you know, like they they they're watching you, they're guiding you. Everything is about divine timing. I know a lot of times, especially when things get rough. We're like, okay, where is the light? Like, is the light paying me? Is my ancestors, do they see us going on? <laughs> Are they there? They're there. They see that you're not happy. They see that you're grieving. This Ten of Pentacles want to, want to come out again. I'm just going to take it. Um, they, they, they see everything. And they're saying, like, we are lighting the path. You're on the right path. You don't have to cry over spilled milk. Your family is going to be whole if you're worried about your family. Five of Cups. You don't have to cry over spilled milk. Yeah, they're saying you and your family are going on a new journey together. And I know family is very important for Pisces, especially, like, if they have kids. So, you know, you're starting a new thing. Y'all moving away from sadness and grief and loss like yes you've lost some things but you're starting a whole new beginning you have to take a leap of faith even in your sadness this fire energy is coming back out you can have fire in your chart or you could be with a fire sign um leo aries sag oh wow yeah you're moving five of cups again but you're moving away from it whoa this is a lot okay all right, I'm picking up what you're putting down, universe. 
you just want your family to be happy. And that's probably could be what's making you sad. If there's any any trouble that's going on at home, then I saw some like little trouble over here with home. Like if things are trouble two ways with home. One, um, you know, physical things are breaking down in your home or something like that. And then two, the people in your home um could be breaking down, right? So whatever this is with that, you know, home situation is causing you grief, causing you sadness. Um, you just want your family to be happy and you guys are getting this. You just have to trust, believe, you know, um, in your higher power and believe that um, this is being divinely protected and guided as well. Everything is for a reason. And um, this fire energy is is here. And I feel like this fire energy could be some bring you some sadness too. Um, um, again, Leo, Sag, Aries. Um, they could be, I feel like they're in their feelings as well. There's, they could be depressed and, but I feel like it's also you, I feel like, but I feel like it's stemming from you, stemming from you. Like both of you could just be bumping heads because you're both sad and both grieving a loss or something like that. Um, and it's hard for you or this person to, um, really get past this, like to, to help, like you don't know how to help. They don't know how to help. Could be uh, it's feminine energy, um, but it doesn't have to be can you know can be a man. But I feel like universe is saying take the leap of faith, and you guys are going to move past this. Like you're going to move to calmer waters. Your wishes are being fulfilled. However, that looks for you. Something else has flipped over. Oh yeah, you're gonna okay. I like it. So although it's sad, although it's very sad, Pisces, what's going on at home? Um, it's going to work out and you're going to begin a new way to communicate with this queen of wands, whoever this queen of wands is, you're going to begin a new form of communication. You're going to get the victory. You're going to, you're going to win and you'll be getting messages. I feel like, um, from, um, you know, probably from your fire sign or something like that. Like this this energy could could be um a older person, older kid, adult, young adult or um sit your sibling or something, something like that. Um but maybe y'all had some words or something, I don't know. But you're wishing for this 10 of pentacles. That's your wish. I feel like you wishing for the 10 of pentacles. You're like, "You know what? I just want my family to be wealthy. I want them to be healthy. I want us to come together." And, you know, play board games, <laughs> eat good food together. Like, you want this uh, beautiful family union. And I feel like you, your wishes are being fulfilled. You guys are moving towards that. You're moving away from all this sadness. There's still a lot of sadness there, but you're taking a leap of faith. You're going to have new communication. Um, I feel like they're going to be texting you or, you know, something. They're going to be talking to you or you texting them or something like that. And um, getting this together, getting a win. Because you have um, love too here. <laughs> bye bye boom, Pisces. You have love here, but I see marriage. Um, but this is so funny because I see marriage here, but I also, normally this Three of Pentacles does not feel like... Um, third party energy it's not that but for some reason this feels like third party energy like is this person already married let me see or with somebody but the contract makes me think it's marriage yes. i'm only trying to pick up what the universe put it down don't be uh shooting a messenger Yeah, I got another. Hmm. Okay, Pisces. So I'm not sure. I feel like either one of you want to be married 
or living together. But for some reason, like, that's not happening. I feel like you guys, you, I feel like you waiting in expectancy for something to, to happen. Uh, oh, three of pentacles again. King of wands. Yeah. So you're surrounded by love because you are love, Pisces. You are love. But it's like you're waiting for, um, and this is two ways. It's going to be the home or marriage. So I'm gonna go marriage first and then we'll I'll come back to home. Okay, so I feel like you want to be married. You are like super loving and super surrounded by love and you're in love and you want to be married. You want to work this thing out. Oh, you could be married and want to work this thing out. Um you're showing up. You're showing up as um the queen of cups. I feel like your person is showing up as the um knight of cups. So a little more, um, I don't know. It, it's, it's not like it's the king and queen, right? So like this is like a, uh, you know, a something, ah, it's weird. Okay. What do we want to do with this? You got fire, air, and water here. And earth. King of Wands is here too. You got a lot of people in this situation. So if this is about some type of marriage or something like that, um, you got a lot to work out and work through is what I'm hearing. You're waiting in expectancy, waiting for your ships to come in, but I don't feel like they're coming in. I feel like, um, honestly, I feel like you're going to have some, some you're going to feel betrayed and backstabbed. It's going to be some heart um, heartache a little bit. Because either your person's already doing something or they're not ready to do this yet. So I see I see a breakup, but I but so it's an ending to a, a cycle and a new beginning. And I feel like after the breakup though, I feel like you guys are gonna work it out again. Like y'all gonna try to uh work it out again. So maybe you've had maybe you've already broken up right and that's why you wait in expectancy for some things to to happen um because you're already working it out but then this king of wands energy come in here um and then after the after the king of wands energy come in that's when you get the win that's when you get the victory a new way of communicating so um so Pisces, I feel like you're you're gonna be transitioning to um a different relationship. Let me get one more. Like I feel like who you with right now is just like a play toy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, wishes fulfilled and marriage. Yeah, you want, you, what you want right now, you're not going to get with the person that you're with. It doesn't look like that. Again, don't shoot the messages, not for everybody. Um, What you, what you're waiting for in love, because you are love, you are like wanting to work it out. It's a lot of threes in here. Let me know that this is not um just you and this person. And you got a lot of other energy coming in um inside of this. You're showing up here, which is good. You're showing up. Your person showing up. The breakup is showing up. The new person is showing up. The win, working it, working on yourself, working, making your pentacles. You showing up as the king. All your wishes being fulfilled, and then marriage. So I definitely think this is marriage. I think that you want it now with this person, and they don't want it, or they're not ready, and this is gonna cause some type of um break up and then when you when that happens your king of wands is gonna come on up in here mm. 
Yeah, it's a lot of love between you, the Queen of Heart, and the, and the uh, Jack, the Knight of Heart. That's why you're waiting and expecting. Like, this is it, but it's not quite it. And then you're going to do some work, and then the King of Wands is going to come on in here. You could already be going through this. You know what I'm talking about. For those who is for, you know what I'm talking about. You're asking your person to, you know, uh, go next level with you. And they're not quite there. They don't want to. They're not going to. And that's not for everybody. Please don't shoot the messenger. I'm just saying. They don't want to. I feel like they got to do some work. And that's what most people like if you're single. Or if you have to do the home. But if it's the home, with something going on in the home, that, ain't, that mm, let me see. Let's go back if it's the home. Let me do it. Because I'm feeling like um, it's not about the house. Home. What's going on with for those who is home? Oh, so it's like if it's home, you're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to close the contract. Um, you're going to get the victory if you're trying to buy a home. Um, yeah. Or save your home or something like that. You're going to win. Yeah. But you, I, I, ooh, you're winning. So if you're fighting over home, like if you're getting a divorce and you're fighting over home, you're going to win it. Lord have mercy, Pisces. What in the world you have going on? Yeah, you're gonna win it in the divorce. You'll get it if you are um just trying to buy a house or something like that. You're gonna get it. It's gonna work out for you. You're gonna get the victory. Um, you're gonna be get that's gonna be communicated to you um soon. And you've already like put in the work. You've been who you ever you working with your realtor, your spouse, whoever. But I, I feel like Pisces, I feel like you're gonna be single. If you're not single, you could already be single. Or if you're not single, I feel like you're going to be single for some. I feel like you're moving into your pentacle. I feel like you're moving more into um, an independent, successful time. So if you are in a relationship, you just could be feeling more independent and more successful, more confident, especially when you win this contract in business or at home. That's going to be good. But in love, it's not good. You got some some deceit, some deceit going on as well here. Again, um, you showing up single. Lord have mercy on my soul, Pisces. What in the ever believe it? But you got this uh, King of Cups right here. Um, but I feel like it's you. I feel like this needs to, because I feel like you should be as the King of Cups. Even though I know it's a masculine energy, it does not have to be male, female, but it's masculine energy. It's, it's water in its highest form. I feel like this is you coming for everything that is yours, especially because you got this deceit card right here. And this King of Cups keep wanting to come out in Ace of Pentacles. You're working on yourself. I'm just going to take it because that's what the universe is saying. You're working on yourself. You're building your business. You're, you're working on your pentacles. You're working on your self-esteem, your success, all this good stuff. Um, and someone's, and I feel like it's uh, because it got a lot of these pentacles. It could be work-related. But the daughter spirit is here too. So someone's doing some shady shit. But... It's, you're divinely protected. Here go this King of Wands again. King of Wands is still showing up too. I feel like this fire won't you, Pisces. Yeah, and there's some reconciliation here. Apologies coming. Because whatever this deceit is, it feels like... What the hell? It feels like it's around money. It feels like it's around money. Um, around your coins, around your pentacles. I don't know what that's about, but daughter spirit is open. You can um sit inside of your meditation to figure out exactly what's going on because it's something definitely going on with this deceit card. 
something you don't know, something that's happening behind the scenes. But the thing even with behind the scenes and deceit is that it's all still divine. Even the deceit, whatever they're doing is still divine. It's supposed to happen. It's just that it's going to bring um, a lesson, something to your attention that you didn't notice before. But it's going to at least probably like, you know, get it more connected to spirit because all the spirit is open. So it's like, which, which door are you walking in? Are you paying attention to? Are you paying attention to, to the door of the spirit? Well, I'm, well, you know, God is saying, come on in, get situated, get settled. Let's see what's going on. Let's take a look, right? Because you're showing up as a shark. You're showing up as the go-getter, taking care of your business, taking care of your coins. You're doing all this self-work. You're working on yourself, nurturing yourself, you know, being romantic and, you know, take charge and control of your emotions, which is going to be good because you're going to find out what this deceit is. It's not going to, it's going to be revealed to you through the door of the spirit. That's how you're going to know what's happening, what's going on. As you're doing your self-work, this king of, this, I'm sorry, not swords, king of wands is here with a reconciliation. This could be somebody you know from your childhood, um, this could be somebody that you've, you know, dealt with before or something like that because they came out before um, it's coming in and they really do want to come in for you. So, you know, you're worried, <sighs> having sleepless nights, anxiety because of whatever this is, but it's all going to balance and work itself out. And then you're going to have reason to celebrate. Like something is happening, some deceit. But once you find out, once you get fully connected and, you know, keep doing your work, your pentacles are popping. Um, your business is going to be successful. I feel like this is work. I feel like a lot of this is, you know, home and work for you, Pisces. Um, and although you could be, you know, feeling single or single or independent, it's okay. Because the king of wands is coming for you. Coming for that water. Because then it came out a couple times. And it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could just be somebody who has fire placement. Also, you have a lot of pentacles out here. Um, so, it could definitely be an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You do have water. Uh, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Cancer. But I do see something funny with your money. But here's the thing that I really like that's funny with your money um, is that you're moving away from it. And you've probably been worried about money, but you're moving away from it. As you keep doing your work and moving away from those things that don't serve you, you know, really working on um, your soul space, your spiritual path, getting in line with spirit, um, that's when your money is going to really pop. So you could be, you know, paying off your last bill. For something like maybe you had a payment plan or something like that, and you could see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like, whoo, I'm almost still paying this thing off. That's gonna be really good. Yeah, you're moving away from financial troubles and right into a new passionate. Um, beginning a new passionate start in your finances. So you don't like, seem like it's going to really pick up, especially with all these offers coming in. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense because you got, you know, a lot of slow moving offers, but that they're actually going to pick up and move faster because you've been putting in the work. Um, so they're going to move faster. You're going to have way more stability. Oh, thinking of Pisces, hang on. Hey, my Pisces friend just showed up during a Pisces breed on a Pisces full moon. Woo Talk about dope. Okay. Back to y'all reading. So listen, you're going to move away from the financial troubles. You got all these offers coming in, um, contracts, jobs, things like that coming in, business looking uh, really good. So yeah, whatever you were worried about with the money, you're getting a new passionate start, more financial stability. You're going to feel like really good. Yes, go hang out with your friends, Pisces. This Pisces new moon is all about friendships and, you know, hanging with your people. So go have some fun. Have some fun. Enjoy yourselves. Yes, do the things you love to do. Yes, cycles are ending. Don't worry about any, like, stupid breakups. 
don't worry about you know any home situation something like you left out because you're getting you're getting offers and you're getting a windfall of money and you are coming into your boss yes boss upness okay pisces you are gonna do the whole day on thing so don't worry about money it's gonna get better it's gonna get way way better i see that it's not good i'm like girl i got three cents i get it it's not good right now but you're moving away from that energy and into a powerful um stability of money and finances and home okay and love so it look a little shady now but <laughs> it's gonna be so good um okay your oracle card is gonna be earth magic Because you got all these pentacles. I'm like, why earth magic? But okay. Oh, I went back in. one more card and i had to see if it was going universe was going to say yes and it did okay i'm so happy because i was like i don't like that <laughs> okay pisces you got the tsunami and dream time and i love these together because like i said i could already see in your cards you have a lot going on i know i just said a whole mouthful and told you about breakups and you know depression and sadness and things like that but you have a, a, a wake-up call this is all these things are happening to wake you up to get you um to your next level and so that you can create you are this is such a pisces card look at this look at that dream time creation this is so pisces you're ruled by neptune you all dreamy and fairy telly so you know what i'm saying you have been in a slump pisces um whether it's a little slump a big slump or something in between and now universe is saying i need you to uh wake up wake up call this is your wake up call your alarm is going off so that you can create and you know create these fairy tales and this beautiful life and all of this stuff and really get your coins popping really get um ready for your love that's coming in and you need to wake up call so you can see the deceit because you've been so like <sighs> down it feels like that you can't see the deceit that's happening around you so um you know love is going to get to going to be everything is going to work out for you you just have to go through some things so that you can wake up and go next level and really get into your pisces creation space okay all right pisces your key on the card I'm using my creative power to create more love and relationships. Yes, it's time for you to create more, Pisces. That's what you got to do. All right. Thank you so much for rocking and rolling. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this video. Leave a comment. Let me know if this resonates. Peace out.